happy Mother's Day, all you moms um, out there watching this, uh, and just taking a moment out of your out of your day to really just listen to what I feel like the Lord has been speaking to my heart, and really just praying and believing that this blesses you guys uh, today. And um, to be like totally honest, I'm like in my bed, as you can see behind me, and I have truly been interrupted like 700 times um kids dogs I, trying to john's trying to go to sleep and i'm like i'm still trying to film my devotional so i am just gonna let the tape roll and please bear with me i'll probably ramble and <laughs> just give you a real glimpse into like this is real life we're all moms we all get it uh you know just being able to take any moments out of our day to intentionally just press into the Lord. It doesn't have to look like 10 hours. Um, it can simply be, hey, I'm closing the door. I'm taking time to just really press in. And I just, again, hope that what the Lord's been speaking to my heart translates into something that can really uh, bless, bless you guys today. So I really felt like the Lord had been highlighting to me uh, just some psalms about taking refuge in him and what that looks like. And I had come across uh, this verse in Isaiah that actually says, um, it's Isaiah 28, 15, and it says, for we've made a lie our refuge and falsehood our hiding place. And it was really about Jerusalem and um, at the time. And I just felt like it was really interesting to actually think of a lie as being something that you would take refuge in because the definition of a refuge is a state of safety, shelter, or protection from danger or distress. So why would a lie become a refuge? It's so contradictory. And I often really just get the most revelation and uh, from the Lord by asking questions. I'm a researcher. I like to understand. I like to know the why. And as I was just pressing into those questions, I felt like the Lord was revealing, um, you know, that we always take refuge in something. Is it going to be him? Is it going to be his word? Is it going to be his truth? Or will it be lies that either the enemy has spoken over our lives year after year after year that again be, almost become like these these bricks, these blocks, these things that are really end up building a fortress in our lives that isn't based upon the truth of who the Lord says we are, the truth of about, you know, the identity that we have in Christ. And um, I just really wanted to challenge us today as women. It is definitely as women, as moms, there's certainly a struggle um, to compare yourselves to others to really feel like, again, you're doing the best job, whether it's being a wife, being a mom. Um, there's the lies that want to come in and say, you know, you'll never be good enough. It's how you've always been. You've messed up too many times. And, you know, I feel like it could even be sometimes a dream that the Lord has maybe placed on your heart long ago. And you just don't feel qualified to take hold of that. Um, you may have this idea. I mean, I know for me personally, I definitely tend to be more introverted. Um, something like this is even a step out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, and just believing that there are these things that, you know, we're not going to be able to step out of or step into. I just don't have the skills. I don't have the resources. It can be discouragement, fear, complacency even wounds and um trauma and uh it it often honestly could even be the lie of you know i don't really need to change change i shouldn't have to i do i really need to surrender that and i know that's really extreme but if we're honest and if i'm honest those are things that i have 
struggled with that I've believed. Um, I've used the, you know, the, I, I think personally with the Lord, I've even said like, you know, Lord, I just, I'm weak in this area. And, you know, why would you ask me to do that? If you know that this is something that I'm just don't, I'm not strong in, I can't do it. And I feel like the Lord has really been challenging me to <clears throat> seek him, to look to his word and what he says and to find my refuge, my strength in who I am in Christ and who he says I am and to really just harness the truth of his word and use that to actually begin to kind of peel back those layers of my heart to examine, um, you know, what are some of these lies that I have actually turned to as being my refuge instead of you, instead of your love, your truth, all built on, you know, Jesus Christ and what he's done. And so today I just want to challenge you ladies as well to really press into that. Maybe you have been, maybe this is just confirmation of something the Lord has already been speaking to you, but I just keep getting this picture of, you know, almost this fortress that the enemy is want to wanted to build that we feel, hey, we're safe, we're secure in this. And the Lord is really saying, this is nothing but a fortress of lies that I haven't spoken over your life, that I have not, um, you know, I've not confirmed I'm actually speaking the opposite and I'm challenging you to take hold of the identity and the, you know, authority that I've given you as a daughter. And that's going to shape generations. That's going to shape your children, your children's children. So I just um, pray that this blesses you ladies and really believe that the Lord is going to bring lasting fruit from the things that we really choose to allow him to to look at and examine in our hearts and in our past and in you know our lives for our future and for all the things that he has to come so god bless you guys and i hope you have an awesome mother's day and i hope you have an amazing week